While I was traveling around the US cutting lawns completely free of charge, I stopped in to see one of our longtime supporters, Joe, and yes, that's really his name, located in Port Sulphur, Louisiana. You an old man, I'm young and pretty, you old. I'm an old man? Yeah, I'm young and pretty, <laughs> look how pretty I am. Now because Joe's a longtime supporter, and I happened to talk to him on the phone multiple times and he said, hey, I would love to just meet you. I decided I'd go there and see him. But while I was there, I saw the cemetery and I knew I would have to do something about it. So I stopped in and dropped my gate. However, it's a lot different than most cemeteries I've cut before because all the cemetery plots are raised and above the ground and encased in concrete. Now this is something they do in Louisiana to prevent the coffins from rising up out of the ground and floating away during hurricanes. With all the cemetery plots above ground, it made for a challenging mowing experience where I actually had to use a string trimmer to cut most of the cemetery, which is just shy of an acre. Now, before I cleaned up the trash, I saw some local firefighters going to get some lunch across the street, and I stopped them and asked if they would help clean up some of the trash, specifically because I had nowhere to dispose of all the waste. And I didn't just want to bag it up and leave it. And they thought it was really cool what I was doing, so they decided to not only help me dispose of the trash, but actually come over and help me clean it up. Now, when I clean up these cemeteries, I find a lot of flowers that are old and dilapidated, and if you've ever seen those before, you know that they fall apart and get sun faded and they, they just end up scattered everywhere. So what I do is I clean them up and dispose of them. And I've had several viewers say that's disrespectful. And on the other hand, I've actually talked with cemetery caretakers and they say it's disrespectful not to clean it up. So this poses a question that I want to ask you. What do you think I should do? Should I clean them up or should I leave them? Now, if you've never seen my channel, I travel around the US and I do jobs just like this that are completely free of charge for the people of the community or homeowners that I help out. And there's no way that I could keep doing this without your help. So if you would, if you just subscribe to the channel or give us a follow, that would mean a lot. What that does, it bookmarks us so that you have a chance of seeing us again in the future. Now, if you want to go even further to help us out, you can always give us a thumbs up, leave a comment or share this out to your favorite social media platform and that would really help out. It's completely free for you to do, doesn't cost a dime. There's no way I could do this without you, so I just wanna take a moment to say thank you. I love you so much. Let's go ahead and get into the work.
I might very well be covered in fire ants after that one. I'm standing right on them. Look at this. I don't know if they're on me or not, but I'll know in a few minutes when I start crawling in my legs. This whole thing is just covered with them. you come across. I'm gonna ask them. I'm gonna ask them if they're interested in helping pick up some trash. I doubt it though. We'll find out. Well guys, <laughs> that's awesome. I asked them for some help and they said they'd, they'd totally help. So I'm gonna finish cleaning up the grass, let them eat their lunch. Um, I'll do the edging last, but I'll pull out the blower and use that to get all of the trash and everything up. So, yeah, let's get back to back to work. Thank you. 
Alright, real quick break. I'm gonna get something to drink. I'm gonna bust out the blower and I'm gonna blow the grass clippings and everything. I'm gonna have to blow them towards the street and then blow them down over here probably. Uh, that way I can use the motor to shred them up. Alright, let's quit playing around. Get the show on the road. Who's got these mowers? I have sheriff's office. Oh yeah. Yeah, those bad boys are good machines. They look like they've been through hell though. They probably have been. Yeah. All right, guys. Here was, here's what we came up with. They're local, so I'm gonna trust them. They said basically, if you go digging in that pile, uh, might as well be a death wish. Closest hospital is about 30 or 40 minutes up the road, and. Um, they say it's just not a good idea. So we're gonna blow out what we can that's loose. That's why it's safe to get to. We'll bag it up, throw it away. Um, I'll use a blower in the rake. Other than that, we're not gonna get too crazy with it. We got quite a bit of it though. Is there anywhere I can put these bags when I'm done? Do you guys have trash can? Yeah, we got trash can. all right big thank you to those guys for coming and helping out we got four large contractor bags so far it is raining hard about 60 or 70 feet away so it's coming my way um, I'm gonna ride it out if it starts yeah it's gonna start raining hard in about uh, 30 seconds to a minute anyways I'm gonna ride it out or work through it we got a lot of grass clippings to blow up so we can mulch up. We got a lot of trash to pick up. I think I'm pretty well done with the pile. There's not too much more I can do there. But we got quite a bit. So you know, I feel good about that.
Quite a bit of trash. Thank you to those guys for helping pick it up. Pretty awesome.
I'm all the way in the very tip of Louisiana. Big thank you to uh, Port Sulphur uh, Firefighters. I guess it's an EMS. Kind of funny. There was a uh, sign on this one that said uh, uh, something about the EMS challenge. I uh, showed him today. A juggernaut challenge. <laughs> All right, my Boring Channel viewers, what do you think of that? Man, we made that look good. Came a long ways. I feel pretty good about it. I'm going to go have some lunch to see what my wife and daughter are up to. Maybe spend the rest of the day with them. Definitely take a shower and change my clothes because this is just, I'm, I'm covered in mud and I'm wet to head to toe. My feet, I can feel are all pruney and nasty. Been rained on all day. Then I'd sweat. Then I get rained on again, and then I'd sweat, and then I get rained on again. Gotta love it here. I imagine it rains all the time here. <laughs> I'm out of here. I came all the way down to uh, the furthest tip of Louisiana, down here in Beeraz, Louisiana, and I got some fresh shrimp from a local Cajun. How cool is that? <laughs> I'm super Manger excited. Bon. I was able to come here. Manger bon, vieux. Oh yeah. Manger bon, vieux. You know what vieux means? No. Old man. Old man. Yeah, you an old man. I'm young and pretty. You old. I'm an old man. Yeah, I'm young and pretty. <laughs> look how pretty I am. Yeah, you look good. Yeah, I look good for being ancient, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm well preserved. Yeah. Well, this is Joe. Make sure you say hi to Joe down in the comments. Joe's been a long time viewer of ours. I got to talk with him about a year ago and he goes out and cuts lawns with the sun. I knew I had to stop him when I was going on this tour. Thank you so much. And, yeah, no, and man, I'm glad you awesome. came. You have no idea meeting. how much this means to me. I don't go nowhere no more, Kevin. I don't get out and go visit no more because I just don't like being away from home by myself too much. So if I get the feeling bad, I can't drive home. 